morning guys how's it going i hope you guys are all doing super well today is what is it wednesday and this morning we managed to film a video conrad and i and so hopefully i'll get editing to that soon but i also want to start a vlog today because i am doing some moving things around kind of thing um cleaning some stuff up so i thought i would time lapse some of this stuff also i wanted to do um i want to show you guys this delivery I got um, last week for the Louis Vuitton show and then I also got delivery this morning. I mentioned in my Chanel haul that I also ordered gloves so they arrived so I'm going to open them with you guys. Okay so we have a receipt and then we have a little box. I'm so excited. So I actually tried this on already because they ordered one for me last week but there was a mark on it so I had to return it um, and get another one ordered because as you'll see if you see a mark on this I mean I'll explain when I open it actually oh my goodness these are so beautiful and there's no mark on these so that's good so yeah so if there's like a little mark on there it's like really obvious um, obviously these are white so I have to be really careful and you know I am clumsy so if I do get something on it that's on me but I don't want to buy it with a mark already on it obviously right so <laughs> yeah let me put these on so these are what the gloves look like on I love them they're so 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 beautiful I mean I definitely need to paint my nails for this it'll look much better with my nails painted but for size reference, mine is in a size seven and a half. It's like not super tight on me. Obviously I wanna be able to take it on and off easy, but it's still snug enough that it still keeps me warm and you know, still feels like snug. Um, whew, lost my breath there for a second. Yeah, they're obviously super impractical because it's lambskin and it's white, so it's super delicate, but I just could not resist. I thought they were so beautiful. And because I got my earmuffs also in like the same black and white. I don't know, thinking about it now, maybe it's like too much logos going on if I wear my earmuffs as well. It's like Chanel, Chanel, Chanel. It's too much. Maybe for like a photo or like a look for a bit, but I don't think for like, you know, an average day walkabout, that'll be a bit much. <laughs> but yeah, so pretty. Okay guys, so it's about time I dissemble this, um, but I wanted to share with you guys before I do because it was such a beautiful surprise. Um, thank you so much Louis Vuitton Selfridges for this, more specifically Rina for organizing it. She sent me a text message saying she wanted to send something over to watch the show with, and I was like thinking, oh cool, like thinking it was going to be a box of chocolate or something. Um, but then this arrived, and I was like, that's a massive box of chocolate. <laughs> no, but obviously it was such a surprise when I opened the box, and oh my goodness, what a treat. So, I don't drink alcohol, but I love this. This is something I will keep because it's obviously got my name on it. I love anything that um, is personalized, obviously, so I'll definitely bust it out for friends to drink or something, but... Not for me. <laughs> um, we got some snacks here. Some, um, what's it? Sorry, not chocolate. Popcorn. I already had a pack. And then this was filled with chocolates and candy. Well, mostly candy, actually. Um, these are just the ones that's left. Conrad and I obviously picked through them. These are just the ones that we haven't eaten because we ate all the best ones, basically. <laughs> or at least our favorite ones. And then this, um, by the way, I appreciate all this, like, monogramming, logoing. Even though it's just, like, normal foods, I think it's, like, really nice that they did the whole monogram. It's really cute and just makes it feel more special. And this is a box of chocolate from that brand, Pierre Marcolini. And we haven't gone through all of these yet. We've gone, we just have been picking through them, but yeah, just a box of little truffles. And then a gorgeous note. I don't drink sparkling water actually, but I like having them for um, people who come over who do. So that's good for that. But then these, oh my goodness. I was so surprised to see this in the box. Um, gorgeous little dust bag. It's a velvet pink dust bag um, with gorgeous drawstring. Anyways, back to the slippers. They are just so beautiful. The satin pink is the most perfect pink for these slippers. 
and the stitching on there is so stunning. Um, I actually have been wanting to get a pair of slippers from them, just didn't know which one, and I'm happy to start with these ones. They're so pretty. On that note, guys, let me know what you guys thought of the show, um, Louboutin Spring Summer 21. Um, for me, it's hard for me to say this because I love supporting the brand, but this time I feel like it was a little bit of a miss for me. Um, a little bit, a lot, like not a lot, but like I need to see the pieces individually, I think. It's just, it's hard because there was just so much going on. Uh, I did not like the bold wording and the bold color. I didn't like the color palette. Like I love bold colors, but the color palette itself was just not my thing. The color palette for the accessories, like the, clo uh, the, uh, the bags were interesting. I love the bright greens and yeah, there was, there were some metal bags and stuff like that. Those looked really cool, um, but... In terms of the clothing, I did like some of the um, cropped jackets and the blazers. Um, I just think, I mean, it's really hard to like screw up on those. I feel like I feel like with jackets and stuff like that, it's okay for it to look a little odd or a little cool, different, like, I don't know, it's unexpected basically because it's just like one item that you throw over and it's like, bam, like a look. But if everything is much, then it's all, it can get a little like, messy basically so i've moved a couple things around i've moved my hat rack there which i really like i think it gives the actual hat rack a moment because it was just shoved in a corner um by the hat rack i mean the actual rack itself because i really do love the rack it's so oops dang it i think it's so cute so so i like it there Plus, um, when I have a mirror there and the window on the other side just glared too much anyway, so I never really liked using that mirror. I have a small mirror here, but I moved the other skull mirror to my bedroom, basically. And yeah, I've moved this rack here, which is like some of my more special pieces. And then that rack I pushed back. So today, we're going to be doing a lot of reorganizing. Conrad reorganized his bit this morning. Um this closet here, which not too shabby, looks pretty good. Um, and then as you can see me, I am doing a little reorganization and clean out slash cleaning the shoe rack or shoe shelf, wiping down some of the shoes I haven't worn in a minute and yeah, just reorganizing a little bit. I got these crates, I have two more that I need to spray paint. Obviously I've done a really bad job at it as you can see, but I don't really mind. I kind of wanted to do it roughly. I'm gonna um, get some more spray paint today and touch these up. But yeah, I got two more and that's just gonna help me with more shoes. I tried to find a rack actually to fit in this little corner, but nothing really worked out. So I found these crates and I thought they are good for now and they're reusable. I'll definitely always need like these kinds of things for storage. Um, and yeah, because they stack up, I can always keep stacking them and make more space for a shoe. So I'm gonna put some shoes there. I'm running out of space basically. Before I get cracking on with the shoe shelf, I'm gonna grab a snack and charge the camera because it's at 8% and I'm gonna grab Comrade to help me as well. So I'll see you guys literally in a second. <laughs> okay, so I'm back, let's get started. Um, I'm going to have to take all of these shoes down and wipe everything and clean each shoe basically because some of them are a bit dusty. I wanted to also point out, I found my, in my Prada collection video, I mentioned this pair and I thought it was back in Hanoi. Like I have a black pair and a silver pair. I thought they were both back in Hanoi, but I realized I actually had the silver ones here. So that's them. I also recently picked up this pair of Gucci shoes. Um, I got these at TK Maxx actually, which was a really good score. Um, I think it was just like, just around 300. Um, I just really liked the color, the pop of pink on like, for me, this is like something I would wear during a day outfit, I think. Um, I have this one as well with the same pink, but it's got pointed heel, it's a different vibe. Um, this one's more, I feel like even though there's more going on, to me, I can dress that more casual than that one for some reason. So, I love that. And then, here, whew, I have a pair of shoes that I have been keeping in this bag for like two weeks now or something. And I just need to take it out 
and use them because I'm so excited. I showed these to Jacob when he came over and he said these are his favorite shoes that I own, his new favorite shoes that I own. So hopefully you guys like them too. They're definitely different. Um, not your everyday boot. And as you can see, they are these amazing, I call them like Power Ranger style shoes or boots. Um, I did see Leone rock these boots um, during fashion week as well, which made me fall in love with them even more. Cheryl from Fendi actually sent me a photo of the black pair quite a while ago before I saw it on any saw it on anybody and I liked it but I wasn't I didn't want a black boot. Um, and then she showed me these pink pair and I was like, oh my goodness. So here are the boots without any of the wrapping because it was making them look ugly basically. But yeah, here's the back with the Fendi tabs. Very cool. The heel, look how stunning the heel is. Love that motorcycle vibe. Um, I love that it's all Velcro. Makes it easy to get in and take off. And yeah, it's just like this wrap kind of idea. You do see your skin peep through a little bit, so you do have to be mindful of like the sock that you wear with it, if it matches. Okay, so I've just come out here to show you guys the boots on because it was too messy in there. But um, yeah, I rolled this up so you guys can see what the boots look like, the whole thing. Um, this looks really good with like winter dresses and stuff, so that's what I'm excited to wear these with. Um, I will wear them with denim as well because I don't mind the shoe kind of hidden a little bit. Obviously, it takes away from like, whoops. It takes away a lot of what makes it interesting, but you can still see the boot heel detailing, which is really nice, as well as like this bit here. Um, or you can just roll your jeans up a little bit like I did. Okay, so I think this is the best angle I can get you guys at. You can't really see the floor, but you can see the main shelf. So I'll bring you guys down later. I'm gonna change into something more comfortable, um, like my Primark pajamas, because these are fleecy and comfy and I love them, so. Okay, we've taken all the shoes off of this shelf. I'm gonna do them shelf, one shelf at a time because as you can see, we don't have much floor space, basically. Um, it's always easiest to put the like prettiest shoes on first. These are all my Louboutins there, like the colorful ones, so I have those. I have a couple more black pairs hanging about, so I'll put those underneath, and then I'll also put, there they are. How cute are these little Minnie Mouse ones? <laughs> Um, and then I'm gonna put my Manolos next to those as well. So, okay, so I just gave them a little wipe, so now they're looking a lot better. I should honestly just buckle these up, but I'm so lazy. Don't like buckling things up because I just want them to be undone when I put my shoes on as well already, so. <laughs> yeah, so these are, um, these are my first pair that I bought like in store and boutique in Paris. But I actually did have another pair um, that I bought like this random sale in Vietnam. Um, but I already gave those ones away, so I don't have them anymore. Um, I've got, I think I've got like four or five pairs of Manolos. Manolos. <laughs> said, that, said that weird. Okay, so we're kind of getting there. Um, I've decided to change the level of this shelf because this was the same level as that earlier. It was like down here and I had boots there, but now I just have my shorter heels, just one shorter boot. So I'm making it go up a little bit, or sorry, I am um, lifting up the shelf a little bit so I can put boots underneath, especially because it's winter or gonna be winter, it's autumn now, but it's gonna be winter soon, so I'm gonna, definitely gonna be wearing my boots a lot more. Um, but I can't get this last one to go in. These Ikea shelves are great because you can like change the um, 
level of the shelf whenever you please um, when things change around but obviously the quality isn't great so it's kind of a little difficult okay so this is what we've managed to do today we've pretty much done everything we can um, I just need to buy some more spray paint and spray paint the rest of the crates stack them up and then I'm gonna be putting these shoes I've already picked out the shoes at least um, they're gonna go on the crates and yeah I'm pretty happy with everything obviously it doesn't look that much different all I did was wipe things down and wipe down the shoes and the shoes are all nice and fresh um, I also did like I shared lift this layer up a little bit as you can see it was matching before um, so I can put some of my autumn winter boots down here because it is a bit of a hassle to get it from up top and then and then in here I have the rest of my shoes which I cleaned out and reorganized a little bit and wiped out as well so yeah mostly of my spring summer sandaly kind of shoes and then some more like sneakers there okay so my um, crate should be dry we spray painted them last night I already brought three into the closet because those ones dried earlier um, literally I just painted some pink not painted spray painted some pink some this like off-white color and then splattered some orange on it as well just random <laughs> So that's what they look like. Okay, I'm gonna bring them over. Okay, and I'm done with the shoes in this room. And I think I already showed yesterday. This room is looking good too. I'm still gonna do that. <laughs> okay, so it's time to tackle the knitwear. I pulled a lot of it out already. The stuff back here I'm going to go through because a lot of it I think I can donate. And then last night we worked on the t-shirts which are now looking so good. I love it so much now I can see everything. So I've organized it kind of like non-designer graphic t-shirts and then designer graphic t-shirts on that side. And then the rest are like more specific like crop tops, like um, plain shirts vintage kind of shirts these are long sleeve shirts and these are more dressy and embellished shirts conrad's currently doing the folding he folded all of this i suck at folding i tried and honestly they just never turn out the same sizes and they just look really bad so he's in charge of that and i'm in charge of reorganizing basically <laughs> Okay guys, we are almost done. I only have these little two bits left to put somewhere, I think up there. I need to clean that bit out. It's just a bunch of Christmas attire basically. Um, but over here is looking pretty good. I want to tackle the knitwear today. Um, so I've organized it kind of like, so hoodies here. I have a lot more hoodies in my loungewear and pajamas section, which is in my bedroom, but I just put a little section here because that's also overflowing of the hoodies. <laughs> then we have like the slightly longer like tunic style knitwear. Then we have kind of just a bit thinner knitwear than those ones, but obviously still keeps you warm. Then I have my plain designer knitwear um, here. Then I have two just random knitwear that I didn't know what section to put in. <laughs> and then two more dressier knitwear. This side is looking much more full, um, but these are the chunky, like super chunky knits. These are less chunky except this one, obviously, but I wanted to put like the tunic style knitwear all in one because I only have like three, I guess. But here I've got my chunky knitwear, so it is really full. Um, the back here, this is self-explanatory on my beige and nude tone knitwear. It's gonna be annoying to get to the back, but there's no other way. I have no space. <laughs> then I have my non-designer, like just plain knitwear, and then my designer knitwear at the front here. Not sure when the last time I showed you guys these drawers, but I just am so happy when I open these drawers because it's so satisfying. Conrad also refolded all of these um, during the beginning of lockdown, actually. But yes, yeah, so this is my workout 
drawer. Down here I have my plain long sleeves. These are much thinner, like I wear these as like undershirts kind of thing or layering. Ooh. Oh, actually before I close that, I bought these two recently from Uniqlo. I almost don't want to like ruin the folding, but... <laughs> so obviously it's just a plain long sleeve shirt, but feels amazing. It's 100% cashmere and it's just really well priced. And this is definitely a, a staple for, I think it's like 80 pounds. Yeah, 80, 79, 90. It's just such a good staple for autumn, winter. And I got a black one as well. I'm definitely gonna be using these a lot or wearing these a lot. And then in here, I just have some blanket style shawls and scarves, like super oversized scarves. And then down here, I have winter accessories. So a couple Charlotte Simone pieces. Um, this is MSGM, I believe. Then I have this Fendi one, Fendi monster, and then some gloves here. So this, I think it's just a Top Shop one. I don't think I've used it yet. Um, these ones I got for Christmas from my friend Mai. They're so cute. She got them right before I went to uh, New York, so I brought them to New York with me. And then I have these vintage Chanel pair with the chain. Really pretty um, button. So weighty. I love it. Feels really nice. Another pair I haven't worn yet, but these are so cute. I have to bust them out this Christmas. <laughs> And then of course my juicy pair, which I love. Okay, so I thought I would end this vlog sharing with you guys my two Halloween costumes this year. Obviously we're not gonna be doing very much because we can't really be in a bigger group than six. We can't be in each other's houses. I don't know what the rules are to be honest. All I know is that we're not gonna be doing anything that crazy. So obviously this costume is pretty self-explanatory. It is mini. I got this off of Amazon, honestly. I just like typed in Minnie Mouse outfit Halloween costume for adults and this is what I got. It's actually so cute. Um, I'll put this on later, but it's even got a bow on the suspenders at the back. That's so cute. The ears that came with this dress. Those are two ears that I bought in Disneyland LA. So I probably won't go with this one because it's a bit too Christmassy, but I really love this one. So maybe I'll go with this one, but obviously this one will match best. <laughs> I also got Conrad. See, these are awful. I don't like these ears, but um, again, I just try to find quickly on Amazon any Minnie Mouse, or sorry, Mickey Mouse outfit, and this was the best one I could find, like, full set-wise. So I think Conrad will see what he has in his wardrobe, and then add the accessories, um, because he wasn't about to put a Mickey Mouse onesie on or anything, and there was not, like, a cute outfit like this for Mickey, just the accessories, so we went with that. And then here is my outfit for tomorrow, actually. Tomorrow is actually Halloween today. I'm going to wear Minnie, but tomorrow... I am Bambi. I actually got this coat off of Vestiaire. It is by Miu Miu. And I didn't share it in my Miu Miu collection because I literally got like kind of like a couple weeks after I filmed that video. Um, I saw this coat and I was like, this is the most perfect Bambi coat and decided that I wanted to be Bambi for Halloween. I got this off of um, Amazon, by the way. I know Bambi doesn't have antlers, only ears, but these were the best ones I could find. And then I asked Conrad if he wanted to be Thumper, which is the little bunny in Bambi, and he agreed. So he's just going to wear the ears, not really Thumper ears. Thumper ears are more like that shape, but whatever. Um, with the tail and the bow, and he's just going to wear gray and white. And obviously I'm wearing something underneath this, but I'll share in a second. But yeah, I absolutely love this coat. I'm so happy I got it. Obviously I didn't just buy this coat for one costume. I know I can wear it um, after Halloween as well. Um, and it wasn't crazy priced as well, so that was nice. Okay, so I think this is going to be my outfit for tomorrow. I quickly put it on. Obviously, I haven't done the makeup. And I might have to find some white tights. I don't own any, but that might work well. And then some black sh um, heels. But we're going to go to the park tomorrow. So I didn't want to be, like, too over-the-top crazy. I want to be comfortable and warm as well, so this coat is perfect. But this is going to be my Bambi outfit for tomorrow. I'm wearing this like cashmere Burberry sweater underneath and then my Miu Miu shorts that I got ages ago and then my new to me from Vestiaire Miu Miu Bambi coat. <laughs> I hope you guys check out my Instagram for the full look when it's ready. Um, I'm going to tie on a mini now. 
and this is Minnie. Oh my gosh, she is so cute. Obviously, if you look really close, the quality of this costume is atrocious. But from afar, it's so cute. And there's a freaking bow at the back. Oh my gosh, I'm not showing the bow very nicely, but Conrad's costume comes with a nose which, I mean, obviously he doesn't have the rest of the costume, he just has accessories, but it does come with a nose and mine doesn't. So I'm thinking if I should like quickly go out and get a nose or not bother and just paint a nose on. I could just paint my nose like a massive black dot there. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna be wearing this tonight. I actually also want to show you guys these goodie bags that I made. Um, I love making goodie bags. So I've emptied out this goodie bag to show you guys what's inside. They're all the same. This one's Conrad's because he liked the green slap bracelet. <laughs> I don't can't remember what they're called, but you know, the one where you snap and then it you snap it on your wrist though, obviously. And then we also have these, what are they called? Candy necklaces. Again, very 90s theme there. Some these aren't tic tacs, but they look like tic tacs. <laughs> And then I ordered like a pack of, I don't know how many, there was so many of these like little um, sticky creatures that you just slap onto windows or whatever. They're just gooiness. Um, I got these from Tiger. This one has a pumpkin on it. I think the other one has like just rest in peace or something. But it's just something you can decorate. There's like a kit to decorate it. And then it's used to put candy inside. I just thought it was really cute. I know it's super childish, but you know me. I like these kinds of like fun, crafty things. And Jacob does as well, and so does Conrad. So that's fun for us. And then I got this Halloween themed Maoam because these are delicious and we're all obsessed with it. So I got us each a pack to munch on during Halloween. <laughs> so those are our goodie bags. I've literally just been sat here for a couple minutes trying to decide whether to end the vlog or continue vlogging because I just don't remember what I vlogged. Um, it's been a couple days. So I don't know what footage I have. I'm really hoping I have enough footage for a vlog because I think I will end it um, and then save this and then some things I got in the mail for the next video. I'm doing a styling video, autumn styling video next. Um, as well as a haul. I've been to Bistro Village not too long ago. It's gonna be more of like a styling and a haul kind of video, so hopefully you guys look forward to it. Give it a thumbs up if you guys do. Leave me any comments you guys have down below. Hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already and would like to come and catch up with me again. And until my next video, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!